Hi guys, we're going to Mount Wayne. Iced coffee. A Kindle, a book about the biblical feasts. It's been five and a half hours. So we're about to land. I'm really ready. I'm not really a big fan of flying, so. <laughs> we just landed. Now we're gonna go pick up our luggage and then go to pick up our rental car. I did. We're waiting for our car. Here she is, our adorable little Jeep. A little two-door. Okay, we just stopped to get lunch and I don't know why this lipstick always turns bright pink. It was nude. My fanny pack broke, so that's a bummer because that's all I brought for as far as the purse goes, but it's fine. We're gonna put the top down. The countdown. This got even more pink. I'm not wearing pink lipstick. I'm wearing new. Um. Anyways, I got this like lightning bolt of pain through my spine while I was driving, and it shot out through my arms and legs. And I was like, so yeah, it's pretty fun to try to bring all of our luggage upstairs. She has really bad Lyme disease. I have <laughs> medium Lyme disease. Grace has crashed. We've been awake since 1 a.m. Maui time. But look at the view. Oh, I literally am. So, wow, I'm so, I'm so annoyed right now. I keep saying literally. Look at this view. We're charging up our phones and then we're gonna go down to the beach. We finally charged our phones up and got some sunscreen on and hi <laughs> Grace. We're gonna go to the beach, but I don't wanna bring the camera because it's a pain in the butt, but here, let me show you how freaking cute I look. You look adorable, Grace. Oh. It's the bright one. Oh my gosh. Not featured Grace and I laying right there for the next two hours. Oh, overexposure. Um, we are getting ready to go to dinner with our friends and I got a sun tan. Sun turn? Okay. I got a sun tan on my stomach from me holding my Kindle. We're about to go to breakfast. Then we're gonna drive up to the Napili Blowhole. I think that's what it's called. There's like a heart-shaped crevasse and a rock that we're gonna take a picture at. I have chipped fingernails, which is my greatest pet peeve. We are at the promised land of breakfast. And look, we're just like sitting with this paradise behind us. Oh, you got it. I think a hummingbird just peed on me. We're gonna go hit the blow hole. We're trying to get the roof of the car rolled back and we don't know what we're doing. We are hiking to the blow hole. We had a nice little drive up here. to like have a perfect shot. Yeah, there we go. There's um, people getting really close to the edge over there. Making me nervous. We just climbed up to this little cave. We've been taking pictures. Frustrating experience because my eyes, I'm that person where every single picture you take with me, you could take a thousand pictures and my eyes are closed. We just climbed back up that whole mountain cliff thing. I could take seven naps right now. If we ever got lost in the wilderness together, um, probably would be a bad squish.
of our footage from the rest of the trip might be R.I.P. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be an intro before this or not. But we're about to go on a boat ride. Handy dandy scopalamine patches we're going to put on. I brought my selfie stick. The last footage you guys saw was us at the blowhole. Um, my memory card got corrupted and I thought that we lost everything from the whole trip. And then we prayed. It literally a miracle happened and it's fine now. So now Grace and I are hiking down. We like drove out miles and miles and miles on this little mountain road. And we we're hiking down. Oh, that's a good sign. There's a sign. This thing called the Olivine Pools. Are you ready for this? Danger, do not go beyond this point. We're about to go down. There's the pools down there. Oh my gosh, we made it down here. Look how gorgeous this is. There's a cave over there. People are jumping in. I don't know if you can see the fish. It's really deep right there. Okay, look at this beautiful, beautiful pool. Grace is enjoying the pool. I'm on watch duty. Why can I not talk? Watching out for rogue waves. I don't really know like if that would help exactly if I spotted one. Grace is getting in there with the fish. There's like a whole school of fish in there. See the sea urchin down there. There's a little sea urchin. You almost what? How's it going? <laughs> Pretty sure my mom's not gonna like this video when she sees it. So we were trying to take a picture of our hair with flowers in it and then it started raining and it looked like it was gonna start pouring and we couldn't get the top up on the Jeep like at all and these people pulled over and helped us. They're so sweet. Somehow you discovered this vlog. Highly unlikely. Thank you. It's just starting to rain and we are exploring the jungle. There was a chicken in the car. We're about to go back to the car. If there's a chicken, I'm gonna show you guys. Look, the exoskeleton of a spider. What? Well, um, let's go see if there's a chicken in the car. I heard you scream and I heard the chicken go, There's no chicken back here. There, there's a chicken! <laughs> Great! Yeah! <laughs> it was just sitting in your Get seat. Get out! Get out! If you poop in my seat, I'm gonna have there's a lot no of There's no poop. Issues. No, 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 no. It's on the roof! Ah! <laughs> Look what I'm getting. So I'm single because I'm single. Here she is in all her glory. Grace didn't even want one, what a lame -up. Striving. <laughs> Striving. <laughs> There's the banyan tree. Um, after we got home from hiking up that hill, we crashed. Our friends took us out to dinner, and it was the freaking best dinner. We bought a ukulele, and then tomorrow night we go home. I'm really sad. We're leaving. It's really sad. It's our last day. Um, we're at our breakfast place. And we're sad we're leaving, but also I'm just so thankful because this whole entire trip, honestly God provided for the whole thing. It couldn't have happened like, we were we were just like talking about it one day, like, oh, I wish we could go to Maui. We're going, pray let's pray and ask God. Um, we went to security, we went to the bathroom, we changed into yoga pants. We visited our friends today and they gave us some essential oils that are hopefully gonna help me be calm. Hi guys, look at this hair. Um, I'm finally back home. Actually, I got home this morning at like 5 a.m. And wow, it's been a long day. Oh, it's like a big night. Confession time. Ever since my surgery, I've been like more prone to anxiety with certain things. It's almost like I have PTSD or something. Like, I sound like I'm being dramatic, but I'm not. Some level of fear that it kind of like put in my heart. Um, I was like so scared on the flight last night for some reason. So it took me two hours to fall asleep. So I didn't get very much sleep, but I just kept praying and praying and I eventually was able to calm down and sleep. I actually got super, super bumpy in the second half and I was so calm. I was literally not scared at all. So if any of you have dealt with that after surgery, just know you're not alone. I think it's really normal to deal with different anxieties after surgery. Getting comfortable with not being in control again 
because something like surgery reminds you that you're not in control and ultimately you just have to trust god with everything surgery is a really good reminder of that thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching grace and i explore maui comment like subscribe if you want to go to maui tag someone below love you guys bye